Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Pogo, and uh, I fear I posted on this one. I was going to do it on break stuff, but I fear this is just as popular as the other one. I don't know, it doesn't matter if anybody watches this. I'm just doing this because, I don't know, it's something because I just feel like it. And um, silly posts and messages because people, <laughs> everything gets lost. You know, in the argument of, oh, Limp Biscuit sucks, oh, Limp Biscuit's great, oh, Limp Biscuit sucks, oh, somebody died, no, they didn't die, you know, fuck. And on, and on, on. I was there actually ten years ago, almost you know, it was nine years ago. I apologize. And uh, if you're looking at the stage, I was to the left. If you're looking at the stage, I was the left. I was the left of the sound tower, near the video screen on the left side of the stage. You could see it a couple of times. Um, you know, it was fucking crazy, man. Um, Jesus Christ. You know, but here's the thing. Um, nobody died <laughs> when their Olympus gets said. That's such. That's such a. That's such a myth and such a. Because something of legend, most people don't even don't even like listen to it anymore. The people that that um, usually say that, people that weren't there, um, it's really funny. I mean, to me, it's really funny because the people that um, usually bash Limp Bizkit for their performance there and then bash Woodstock are the people that didn't go, you know. And uh, they've usually fallen into a couple, one of a couple of different car categories. There are, you know, the wannabe hippies, and you know those people because they're the people that are like. Oh, there was never a Woodstock besides the one in '69, which is always so funny because most of them weren't even alive in '69. They even gone to Woodstock, let alone been old enough, maybe even born. Maybe they were born before then, but they weren't old enough to actually go. So you know, for them to say, "Oh, you know, this is wrong. That's not. That's not Woodstock. It's just. That's just retarded." And then there's the other the other group of people that fall into two sets of categories, and that is. The people that were people that hate on it that were too young to go, or the people you know, and they're you know, they're in uh, their parents won't take them because shit. I don't know if you know what. My, well, you know what? At my age now, I'd probably take my kid to it if he was old enough. I don't know because I like a lot of that music still, that kind of music to this day, and um, and I'm in my 30s. I actually look at my profile, see how old I am. I'm 36, so you know, I'm not trying to fucking tell you I'm like 15 years old here, and. Um, so I mean, if my son was old enough in his teens, I'd probably take him, and it wasn't it wasn't that big a hassle, uh, but you know. But then there's you know the people that you know there's there's that people that couldn't go because maybe their mommies didn't want them to let them go because they were too young or, you know, or they wouldn't take them or they live too far away. And you know, I get that. I get I get being angry, um, but you, know, you gotta let it go, man. I mean, like Jesus Christ is like nine years later. Get over it. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you're like yeah, you know, just. Just I mean you're worse than the wannabe hippies. You're you're fucking whinier anyway. God, shut up. Um with that out of the way, um, you know, the Dio Olymp Biscuit and their performance, that's the first time I ever saw them play live. It's the first time I really heard a lot of their music and I was just fucking floored. The whole performance and it's on YouTube. Um, I highly recommend even the haters and you know, and you can hate in the comments, but when you watch performance you'll ne you can't deny the fact that they fucking tore the house down. I mean, and and I don't mean that <laughs> figuratively, literally, in the sense with the the stupid sound tower thing. And I'll, and I'll talk about that in a second too, because the sound tower that was that started before Limp Biscuit went on. Um, and how do I know? Because I was in the fucking crowd, and uh, um, I was down there in the pit the whole fucking weekend. I, I mean, it was just ah. Oh, my, I was I was so sore when I got home. I fucking slept like twelve straight hours on Monday morning. I turned on Howard Stern. Yeah, <laughs> that's on silly. No plug for Howard because I love his show. It's great. Uh, and the time we used to get it back home, and uh, I turned it on. There were people complaining about Woodstock. People talking about how great it was. You know, it said there's it's like an even even number of people doing both. I mean, it's just um. But anyway, I fell asleep during that and woke up about twelve hours later. That's how fucking physically exhausted I was. Um, wouldn't change it for the world, man. Fucking great time, but, um, you know, but the, nobody died during, during the, I mean, that's, nobody died during the fucking performance. Nobody died in the thing. I don't even, I, people, some people died of overdoses, and there were some, there was a lot of cases of dehydration. Um, you know, but I don't, I'm, there was a few deaths, but I mean, like, when you, when you really look at it, there was, I don't know, there was at least like 200,000 people there, they sold like 250,000 tickets. So, I mean, like, the number of people that died, I mean, it's tragic, people died, um, don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is, is, like, the, the direct correlation of people that, that were there, as well, excuse me, as well as the people that died, 
um, is uh, is there's a there's a great contrast. I mean, it wasn't like thousands of people died, and I mean, it was like it was like a handful of people, from what I, from what I understand, I, from back at the time. And this is like nine years ago. I forgot a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, you'll never see a show like that, man. You guys can hate on it all you want, but there's never a show like that. Everybody that was anybody in '99 played that show. Uh, Jesus, everybody. Dave Matthews, who, who, by the way, um, is <laughs> is the uh, is the king of like the wannabe hippies. Uh, not that he's one of the king of wannabe hippies, but all the wannabe hippies, you'll notice, you'll know them because they're all Dave Matthews fans, by the way. And he played there. Uh, he played on Saturday. He played a good set. Caught it. Um, you know, Wallace Morris was there. I played for Fort Limp Biscuit, and uh, Limp Biscuit kind of like pokes fun at her at some point early in the in the set. It's <laughs> it's really funny, but someone said they saw an interview with her later on, and she was like bad mouth Limp Biscuit. I guess that's why cause they're they're dogging her, but it, I don't know. But she didn't play that good, so she kind of deserved it. Uh, no, anyway, the violence. Okay, so the sound tower, right? So the sound towers, you know, in the middle in the middle of the field kind of in the front and, the, and the, it's kind of in a weird place anyway because the field in the front it's level but then it went up not not like a big hill but it kind of went up in an angle right it went up you know and then it sloped upwards so the the thing is sitting at the bottom of the of this of the slope and you know it's in a really it's in a really bad place uh i got stuck behind it on friday i couldn't get around the fucking thing and it was miserable I just like I didn't really get a good see, get a chance to see uh, at least uh, James James Brown from a decent place because of the stupid thing. But I didn't think the thing I, I tear the wall down and they put the wall around it. I guess basically to protect it, which was which is very smart, absolutely smart. Um, but as far as people um, attacking the sound tower, that was going on Friday. Um, Friday during Limp Biscuit. I know she's not Limp Biscuit. Sorry, Friday during the Offspring. If you if you can find the Offspring's performance, I don't know what song it is, but the um, there's a crowd, there's a camera somewhere down on the floor, and they're showing people climbing over the wall on Friday. So I mean, it was already going on. I mean, it's just I mean, it got I don't I don't know what to, what I mean. If you were there, I mean, it, it was a bad idea because I was watching it happen. I remember telling the guy next to me, I'm like, that that's really bad. And he was then he says, Why? Because he didn't really understand. And I explained to him the you know the concept of the sound tower. Um I, you know, a musician, I mean it's not really hard, you know, to understand, but I guess he didn't really realize what, what the consequence was that thing fucking toppled. And uh, after the show, it's never it's never been talked about, but actually after the show, they uh, the promoters got on stage and said, Hey, you know what, and said, you know, you guys need to stop that. And um you know, I, I thought the crowd was really actually very subdued. I don't know, they talk about what a mess uh, Rage Against Machine Metallica was, but uh, I thought everybody was pretty subdued after the fact that the promoters came out and said, you know, if you guys keep doing that and that thing falls over, the whole thing's over with. We're canceling the rest of the weekend. Um, which probably would have caused an even bigger riot. Um, which, if you, if you want to call that a riot. By the way, Limp Bizkit, you know, everybody you know, talks about them starting the riot. The riot started, like, Sunday night during the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And someone said, and someone posted a comment once, something I, I had said, and said, oh, well, the violence started. The violence was already there. In fact, Friday, they all do two of these. Um, because Friday, there's so much, I, you know, <laughs> I can go on about. On Friday, um, I hurt my leg. And, um, just like a small cup, it was an, annoy it was an annoyance. And, uh... Like the lady, I was at the one medical center, and then we ended up having me and this guy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure what the hell was wrong with him. We had to go all the way to the main medical center, which is way out in the in, in the front of the of the facility. And um, I mean, it was just crazy. Um, I mean, like people were fucking getting wheeled out of there already, and like nobody had, and there was no and no metal bands had played yet. Like not even the offspring had gone on yet, and. uh... <laughs> We kept like we kept like like uh, begging people to like fucking help us. Hang on, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cut all these videos. Um, this is um yeah I was supposed to sign off for a second. I'm gonna start these. This is almost over. So uh, if you're watching this, man, cat, you know, I don't know. I guess tune in the second one if you want. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on going here. <laughs>